fire is used for different things. Cooking, heating, burning wastes. So many things, right? Fire is very useful. Yes, but it can turn out to be very dangerous as well. Actually, let me tell you of an incident that took place in Portugal in the year 2017. On the 17th of June, a forest fire broke out. It destroyed thousands of acres of the landscape and took the lives of 61 people. Around 200 people were injured as well. The fires destroyed miles and miles of forests, towns and so much of property. Thousands of animals and plants died and the whole area was filled with smoke and fire. All this loss and destruction from a small spark that started it. This is what fire is capable of. Now, how do we control fire if it can be this dangerous? Well, a fire is something burning in the presence of air, right? Now, this something can be anything. It could be paper, wood, cloth, plastics, anything flammable. Now, to control a fire, we have to shut down two major things. Uh, let's call them ingredients that are needed for the fire. That is, the thing that is burning, which is called the fuel, and the thing that supports the flames, which is the air, right? Most fires can be put out if we don't let air near the flames or near the fuel. We can use water, mud um, and other things, wet things, things that can cover up the fuel and stop the fire. Now sometimes we might need to do something to remove the fuel. Fire is crazy, right? Flames can spread rapidly when there are things around that can catch fire. If you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.